I have been procrastinating on hitting that record button for a lot longer than I probably should have or have in the history of these videos up until now. And a lot of that is just because I couldn't find anything to really capture, to share, nor could I really think of a topic to really sort of yap about. But um, I did a little digging and I forgot that I had this. So I'm going to talk about it, how we got here and where we're going. So it's really sort of started with like a three phase system. And I thought that I was spending a lot of time on phase one, which was just kind of the theory and the mapping out of stuff. And so I decided, you know what? Let's add to the plan the mission to expedite all of these different things. And so that kind of set us off on this whirlwind pace, um, which monitor am I on? So it started with, let me see if I can get over there. So it started with like the concept of I'm going to go with the dual PC setup. I think that's the most efficient and allows for me to do, um, it allows, it allows me to be more flexible with my work setup. So we targeted one and then we were like, all right, so then what does it need? Because if we lay it out, right, this is what, um, this is what we were dealing with. And then with that second PC, this is what we would end up having, something like that. And as it turns out, if, funnily enough, um, we didn't actually need an, an extra set of Ethernet cables because this, for some reason, just has such a superior method of Wi-Fi than what we've been working on. Um, but then when it comes to peripherals and stuff, and extra stuff that I would need in order for the setup to work, sort of skipped over this because um, as it turns out just the cables that I had lying around and the software on the old PC um, it really did help um, these weren't really needed they might still be needed but it's now it's more or less of a it would be nice to have it's not a necessity to have sort of thing and then we Oddly enough, kind of skipped to this section. So just kind of like um, different genres of content that could be created, right? So there is the potential now for like cook <laughs> cook um, videos and streams and such like that. So we, the plan to expedite, it, I think it worked because now we've zipped past phase one, we've zipped past phase two. And so now I need to sit down and really sort of work out a schedule. I need to work out what the hell am I going to do for content? <laughs> um, so the schedule is mostly for the viewers. It's just to be, you know, consistent and reliable. And then the content is so people don't get bored and I actually have a purpose there. Um, and so on the idea of purpose, um, the categories, once upon a time, I probably amend this at this point, but once upon a time I wrote down so we could do like development type of streams. So like things like what can I make? Um, will it help anybody out there? And can anyone out there help me <laughs> sort of thing? Um, and I guess part of that could also be like cooking, because I think a lot of people. They. They know that the reality is, is that eventually they're going to have to cook at some point, but a lot of people don't know how, and I don't either. So I think these last, these, these two bullet points here, um, are very relevant. Let's see VR exploration. Um, yeah, I kind of was doing that with like world drifters and I could probably start that up again, but there is some excitement around the release and the ads of some um, new headsets that are out there. So I'm kind of waiting on that a little bit because otherwise I'm still working on like semi broken <laughs> um, equipment. Um, what is this one? Dive into games, VR experiences. Can I recommend it to others? I, I'm going to have to remind myself a little later about what this one's all about, but this is the one that I was really sort of 
like this is the reason why I wanted to expedite some stuff because I was spending way too long on phase one, just the theorizing and the mapping out of stuff, making sure I had enough money to proceed with phase two. But if this one that I really wanted to expedite and get to as fast as possible, because this is the one that um, I really kind of wanted to try to, you know, reach out and get my friends like involved and just see like if, you know, how much fun can we create based around this kind of a scenario? And I'm almost there. I'm almost there for all these things. But like I said, I still need to figure out a um, schedule. I think that's going to be ironically or not ironically. Strangely enough, I think the schedule is going to be the priority. And then the content is going to be bullet point number two. Because otherwise, in the background, the only other thing that I have to do is um, fine-tune some commands in streamer.bot and make sure that OBS is laid out the way that I am really happy with. And then we can just get started. And then phase three can begin. Um, because ultimately, I would like to still sort of um, progress and improve... And the only way to do that is to keep um, not upping the stakes, but, you know, throwing myself into different um, scenarios. And what is the most what's the craziest scenario you can throw yourself into doing it live? 